What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This video will be for the sign of Gemini. What's up, Gemini? What's up? What you call to play? I got a little meditative message for you, Gemini, that I wrote for you. Do you like notes? Gemini, if you are not happy with some things in your life right now, change that shit. If you are not happy with someone in your life right now, change that shit. Pluck out all the shit that no longer serves you. And I'm sorry that I actually said shit. I definitely... Y'all like the... Don't y'all like real energy? Okay. All right. Keep going. Okay. Um... Pluck, that, pluck out all the shit that no longer serves you or your highest good, Gemini. Get the courage to change your current situation or circumstances. Don't keep it going. Be. Don't keep it going. Or don't. Oh. Okay, so I can't understand my handwriting. Y'all, I was writing fast because as I was thinking, I was writing. So, all right. So. It says, get the courage to change your current situation or circumstances. Don't keep it going because, and then I'm writing as if I'm texting. Oh, my God. Don't keep it going because you're used to it because you're unhappy in parentheses. That's what I put. Or you think that, or you think that's what others expect of you. The only thing that matters is what you expect of yourself, Gemini. So, let me read that again because I know that was a little bit all over the place. And next time I'm going to write Nita, so I have to look all crazy on camera because, sorry. Don't beat me up. If you are not happy with some things in your life, your current situation, change that shit. Pluck out all of that shit that's no longer serving you or your highest good, Gemini. Get the courage to change your current situation or circumstances. Do not keep it going because you're used to or you think that's what others expect of you, Gemini. You are not happy. The only thing that matters is what you expect of yourself and making yourself happy, Gemini, is what I was trying to tell you. So, I'm glad that I finally got that message over to you. Okay? Let's get into your reading. I'm going to light you a chakra. We're going to light you a solar plexus chakra. This chakra strengthens your ability to be confident and in control of your life. When open, you will be assertive and feel comfortable in a group. And didn't we, what's we just talk about getting, getting you in control and not doing what others expect of you to do, but doing what you want, want you to do, Gemini? You can't be no people pleaser no more. And then the people that you think that you're trying to make happy, you people pleasing, they're not even fucking happy themselves. They so unhappy. So no matter what you do, whether you do what they want you to do or not, they still going to be unhappy because they're low vibrational, unhappy people. So let's get into your reading, Gemini. Today is your day, baby. I just got finished doing Sagittarius reading. Sagittarius reading was very fucking good. Like, Sagittarius reading was good, okay? Okay. everybody's having a beautiful day and that you guys had a beautiful mother's day if i didn't get a chance to tell you happy mother's day i'm so sorry i had a busy day that day and i tried to upload as much as i could um day before mother's day i couldn't really upload on mother's day because i was super busy on mother's day like oh my gosh mother mother mother's day was busy but I had a beautiful Mother's Day. I hope you guys did too. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and um hit the like button for me as well. You have the King of Cups. So someone wants to come to you and make you an offer or someone could be very uh demanding. Very demanding. Very um Ooh. So is this King of Cups offering you something you don't want it? This happened, did they, okay, so something happened in the month of May, Gemini. Somebody is going to be trying to offer you something. They want to, they, I want to do all the, 
the things a man won't do. But you turned them cups right over. Not only did you turn them over, girl, you done kicked them to that man cups over. And he looking at his cups like all that spilled milk. He done <laughs> Gemini, why you kick his cup over? You don't like him? What he do to you? <laughs> it must have not been nothing in the cup. That's why you done kicked them over. So that was they offering you nothing because... I always like to remind people that, yeah, we get the page of cups, king cups, all that, right? But we don't never really know what's in the cups. Was this boy trying to offer you a baby? You kicked them cups. This, this person wanted to have children. The sun card, that's nice. Or oh, you could have children with this person. This could be your baby daddy. The chariot. Oh, so he want to get serious, serious. Okay. This man got a strong, nice physique. It's nice body. I'm seeing a nice body, nice and caramel. All right. Your baby is going to be beautiful, too. Your baby's going to have some very pretty skin. I'm seeing beautiful brown caramel in the middle, mochiato skin. King of Swords, I told you this man don't play. You got the King of Cups, Queen, King of Swords. Cherry, this person is a straightforward person. He he knows what he wants. He makes a careful blend of the head and heart. He charges in. Could be done with the Sagittarius, Gemini. You have the, the uh, Nine of Pentacles. And look at you just being the great young lady that you are, Gemini. Being the perfect lady that you are. Because the Nine of Pentacles, this lady is a jack of all trades. This lady know how to cook, clean. She know how to... She know how to get the job done. But not only in the bedroom, she know how to do a lot of things at one time. She know how to uh, take the kids to school, bring, um oh, wow, temperance and the wheel of fortune. This is Sag Sagittarian energy, temperance. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, taking a leap of faith, and the wheel is turning in your favor. Gemini, the wheel turning in your favor. And I feel like you just mind your business, and here he comes. You just mind your business. Here come this serious person. And then at the bottom of the deck, you got the four wands. Happy home. Happy life. Happy. Like, you see the two kids right here? Hold on. Let me take this off the bottom of the deck so you can see it. So, but you could be juggling because I see this too. So, you could be juggling, Gemini, two people. Needed to make a decision, okay? So, remember, we have the um four of swords, right? So, do y'all see the two... um? Let me get a little closer. Can y'all see that? People are actually look at this, the lovers. People are actually celebrating your um relationship, Gemini. People are celebrating your relationship. This man said, ooh, he said. So, all the things your man will do, baby, this king of cups, this chariot man, this king of swords, is coming to change your perception, honey. Okay? Change that shit. Life is changing. We just talk about this right here. I know y'all can't see what I wrote, but still, I took my time out and I wrote it. And I meditated on y'all energy and I brought something to the table that I thought y'all would appreciate. Nine of Cups, very abundant, feeling very abundant. And not only very abundant, this person is going to be a protector. This is going to be a protector. <laughs> Victor, his name might be Victor. <laughs> okay. I don't know, this man could be 49 years Oh, okay. He could be 49 or 54. Hold on. Or he could be 99 years old. It's like, no. I'm just playing. He could be a little older than you, though. For some folks. This ain't for everybody. Okay? Now, let me go ahead and get specific with y'all. This is a general reading. This is not a personal reading, so do not take it personal. This reading is for the collective. So, if I am 
speaking on certain parts of the story that is yours and then i may say something that is not resonating with you understand that that i am connecting with more than one person here on my platform okay so just to throw that out there like if it doesn't apply let it fly but i haven't really really gotten too much too many of that co-create with spirit Ooh, spirit trying to spirit trying to uh guide you and birth could be significant to you you have crow spirit So when you get lonely, because I feel like that's why Spirit wants you to co-create with them, because you get lonely, and this, I don't think this person has came to you just yet. I don't think that you did this yet. Remember we talked about plucking out this? Remember what I said? If you haven't, go back and rewind when I was reading this to you, and remember what I said. But I think you're getting lonely, or you can get lonely every now and again, and that's why Spirit wants you to co-create with them and come talk to them, like come... You ain't lonely, for one. Spirit angels and spirit guides always near. Ooh. I swear, every time I call on him, he be All right. Um, you have dove spirit, be peace. You have groundhog spirit, time to let go. And I was telling you that, um, Gemini, don't keep... Don't keep certain situations going on in your life because you're used to it or you think, you know, that's what others expect of you, but you're unhappy. It's time to let go, okay? It's time for you to let go and live your own life, manifest your own things, live your own life, be your own woman, create your own legacy. Not your ducks up in the road the way you want to be, not the way you want. What was that? What was that? Now listen, I don't mind the spirits Let me know that they're here, but my window is not open, so why, what's, what's going on, like, I don't like when they be scaring me and stuff, don't start scaring me, I don't like all that. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful, so you could be going through a transformation right now, that's why spirit wants you to co-create with them, that's why they want you to not feel lonely, because they, they're with you, like, you're not, you're not going through this transformation by yourself, you have all the spirit, you are never alone, what the fuck did I just say, didn't I say, somebody up in here, who is up in here, to go out and spend time out with family and friends time to collaborate yeah time to go like hook up with friends and family like time to go like do something out of your comfort zone is what i'm picking up thank you spirit they always like to give me that you see clear now i feel, kind of feel like that's the message for me any other messages you would like for me to transfer to um um gemini yes they said lay a solid foundation gemini okay so, time to collaborate. Lay a solid foundation because the transformation is beautiful. You have grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith, okay? Because it's time to let go, all right, Gemini? You have badger spirit. Be fearless and be bold. Be bold. So, you have time to collaborate. Be fearless, be bold. Lay a solid foundation. Transformation is beautiful, okay? Be peace. Come in peace. I come in peace. When you come in peace... You ain't got no room for no attitudes. You give gratitude with attitude. Because you coming in peace, okay? Um, You need to spend more time being at home so you can co-create with spirit, Gemini. Any more messages? Mark Andrew. Spirit has your back. I know that's right. That's what they had to say to you. 
So you ain't got to worry about nobody. You ain't got to worry about nobody, nobody. They better worry about you. Because spirit got your back. You can't mess with nobody. Nobody that um got a connection with the spirit. Because they, they spirit team and spirit guys got their back. They got your back. I know you probably look, you probably wanted someone to love you. That's why, you know, it kind of hurt for you to be in this situation because you really just want someone to love you. You just want someone to love. You understand? I don't, listen, Gemini, I get it. Everybody wants somebody to love them. I don't know nobody who don't want love. And we all need love. Don't let your past hold you back. All you need to say is that. You want me to be with you, girl, no. Okay, fantasy. Your love fills me. Wait, your love fills me with love. I love you. Oh, Gemini. Your love fills me with love. I love you. This person loves you. That's why they coming in charge. And they, they know what they want. They know you a God-fearing, loving woman. They know you a strong woman. They know who you are and what you bring to the table, Gemini. That's your love feel your love. Wow. Look, look at this. Your love fills me with love. That's how much love you have to give. So what you pour, what's in your cup? You pour it in their cup and it's like they drink it and they fill with love. Could <laughs> be done with the Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Definitely was picking up a lot of water energy up in here. This is cute. Okay. And another thing is, you could have waited a long time for someone to love you. Actually, um, um, Gemini. You ain't settled for that. You ain't just, you know, go ahead with, with uh, Keith up the street. Mm -mm. You wanted, you wanted, you wanted the man at the bank. You knew Keith up the street wasn't going to get you nowhere but up the street. But you know Keith at the bank. You knew, you knew he was the right one for you. Something could have happened in March, okay? Or you could have had feelings for someone else in March. And then now you're releasing these feelings, okay? Will you consider giving me another chance? So this could be someone from your past that wants to come back once they see you moving forward. Because remember, Spirit told you don't let your past hold you back. And someone from your past, wants to, when they see you moving forward with this Scorpio, don't go back, Gemini. A moment of ecstasy. See, this person is addicted to your sex. This, this is like, you give this person fantasy sex. It's like a moment of ecstasy for them. It's like crack for them. I don't know if you got a knuckle. Nope, don't say that. Nope, I ain't gonna say it. Because sometimes my mind is... God said you don't have nothing else to say. Don't say it all. I'm getting money so we can get a place together. I know that's right. That man is coming to snatch you up off your feet, honey. He is coming to sweep you off your feet because what this man got to offer you is something that you have waited for your whole entire life. It's some. I almost feel like I want to cry, but I'm not going to cry. I know I'm not going to cry because it's not really me and it's not my true emotions. But I'm now that I tapped into your energy, I feel feel it like i can feel all up in here around my eyes like i feel like your pain behind not even pain it's joy of happiness that you're gonna be crying you're gonna be crying tears of joy have you ever cried tears of fucking joy because you done made it man it feels so good you have nine nine nine, which symbolizes the completion. You are ending a cycle. You know you cutting out would no longer serve you on your highest good. I promise you, I cannot make this up. I felt it in your when I was meditating your energy. I literally that's why I wrote it down so I don't forget y'all. I know I keep going back to my little piece of paper. I don't care, but it helped me. And we gonna get better. We gonna grow. Hit that subscribe button too. Okay. 
999 symbolizes completions. If you are not happy with some things in your life, Gemini, change that shit. Pluck out all the shit that no longer serves you or your highest good. Get the courage to change your current situation and circumstances. Don't keep it going because you're used to it or you think that's what others expect of you. The only thing that matters is what you expect to yourself. The universe is... is is creating a tower moment on purpose for you. A completion is happening on purpose for you. Hey, Google. And look, this is another thing. When you um click off this video, go look up the angel meaning of 999 and then, you know, apply what you got out of this reading. Apply it with your real life issues and your circumstances and your situation. And, 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 and see what message you get out of here from 999 because this is a message straight from the spirit guide, Gemini. Hey, Google. Oh, she ain't for that. Yeah, this person really loves you. So, I'm waiting for Google to load up. Okay, so. We're going to we gonna come back to 999. Um, got me going crazy. So, the fact that you're not being intimate with this person anymore, you could not be communicating with this person anymore, you could have blocked them, or just, you know, stop having sex with them. That was a moment of, ex of ecstasy for them, so it was like crack for them. So, you got them going crazy, almost like they're a crackhead for your sex, or being intimate, or whatever type of love that you give, fill them the fuck up. Like, they need that, they, they need that hit. Tie me up and choke me. I told you they miss being intimate with you. This could be a Scorpio. Mr. Lover Lover. Mm, mm, mm. Go ahead and breathe. Exhale. Smart ass mouth. This person can have a smart ass mouth. Or they could feel like you got a smart ass mouth. They say I'm a phone call away. Call me. Jeff and I, they did not just get up and... They said you is a moment of ecstasy. You got them going crazy. Call me. Look at it. Look at this crazy fool. Look at this crazy fool. Hold on, Gemini. I got to let you see this. You done put it on them, Gemini. What you did? What the fuck did you do? Did you have a fucking threesome with it? Gemini, are you a stripper? I like strippers. I don't knock strippers. Listen, get it how you live. Do your thing. Did I have a threesome with a stripper? Clear your mind. Give me one more chance. Yeah, this person trying to come back. He said, believe me, I'm coming. Baby, I'm coming. Baby, I'm coming. Baby, he coming for you, honey. Be strong. Spirit wants you to uh be strong. Oh, it said continue to be strong twice. Spirit wants you to be strong, continue to be strong. Alright. Double whammy. Hey Google. What is the angel meaning of 999? On the website trustedpsychicmediums.com, they say the meaning of number 999 is completion. The number nine is the last single digit, so when you see this number everywhere you go, something in your life is ending or will be completed soon. Y'all heard that? Hopefully y'all was able to hear Google. Gemini, you feel like you caught up in the rapture of love, honey. Caught up in the rapture of love, girl. So let's get you some more regular tarot cards. That was so funny. It said be strong, continue to be strong. Spirit wants you to know that. You've been holding it down, Gemini. Geminis are definitely strong people. They don't really wear their heart on their sleeve too much. Ooh, 
two 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 twos. All right. Two 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 could be significant to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have the two of wands, which symbolizes a short journey, movement to or near water. And remember I said you could be testing the waters, moving to calmer waters. It could be dealing with the Sagittarius because you have temperance. Okay? And you also have the two of wands. So. Um, you also have the two of cups. Peace of mind, joining up two people, exchanging cups. Didn't I say that you put a little love in the cup? This is beautiful. Six of Cups, Happy House, Childhood Memories. So this could be somebody that you're rekindling with from your childhood, Gemini. You could toss and turn a lot about this person. This person said they want your tender love. That's how that's how good it is. They said tender love. The lovers. Look. Oh my God. Listen. Baby, I'm so this person surrenders. They want you. You have love affairs, romance, building again with marriage, relationship, relatives, love and relationship you can share with a friend. And then I said this could be somebody from your childhood. So I'm seeing a lot of twos on the board and a lot of sixes. Oh my God. The death card, ending to an old situation. or Okay, so death or situation of endings and new beginnings. You go, Gemini. You better fucking work it. You better work it. You better cut it out. Cut it out with no longer serve you. And you not playing. You making a careful blend out of the head and how you walking away. Eight of Cups. Yo, Eight of Cups again. You walking away from this person. Oh, wait. This is the Eight of Cups. This is the Five of Cups. But still, like, this is this person crying over spilled milk. Crying over how much they invested. But I, I really don't think you crying over spilled milk. I think you kicked this person cups over. The cup that they off. Jeez. Okay, sorry, but I'm just gonna be honest. So you also have the eight of cups, which symbolizes money problems. Turn your back and walk it away, knowing nothing more could be done. You turn your back away from these money problems. You turn your back away from shit that's no longer serving you. You got money problems. You know what? Let me fix that so I can get money and I don't have problems. How about that? That's how you determine that. It's not what you go through. It's your perception of how you get through it. You understand? Do you identify the glass as half empty or full? It's your perception. It's not... Listen, in the end, it's your perception. You got to make a careful blend of the head and the heart. The nine of pentacles, yo. You better motherfucking work this, yo. Peace of mind and contentment. That's your reading. How many cards you got? And yes, thank you, Spirit, for lucky number seven. Thank you. And at the bottom of the deck, the wheel of fortune, yo, what? What the, what the fuck? Whoa. Will of Fortune, Elevation of Money, Overseas Trip, Completion of Phases. Yo, let me read to y'all what I fucking got out of the meditative state. If you are not happy with some things in your life, change that shit. Pluck out the shit that no longer serves you or your highest, your higher good. Get the courage to change your current situation or circumstances. Don't keep it. Going because you're used to it, because you're unhappy, or because you think that's what other people expect of you. The only thing that matters is what you expect of yourself. What a fortune, man. Shit turning in your favor because you worked hard. Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me put them back, put them back, put them back. Got a little curly wet, got a little curly wet, because guess what? Success is on the board for you. Thank you, Spirit. I love your sense of humor. You and this person can have a lot of fun together. 
Let me get you some quotes to meditate on and some affirmations, and I'm going to go ahead and let you go, Gemini. This reading was fucking awesome. I hope that this reading resonated with someone out there. And if it did, comment down below. Drop a heart. Leave, give me some feedback. Like, let me know. I'm going to make sure the comments are turned on. Um, I, I know now that the comments wasn't cut on. That's why a lot of people was having... Um, that they they wasn't able to comment. I kept I kept asking people, comment, comment, leave me a comment. And that's people can't leave a comment if the comments are closed. So I think that was a YouTube issue, a technical difficulty issue that I overlooked. But I'm gonna handle that for you guys so you can give me some feedback and let me know if this reading resonated with you. If it didn't apply to you, just let it fly. Um, it is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, but I do do personal readings. If you want a personal reading from me, you can let me know. Just comment down below. Danny, I want a personal reading. I'm going to comment back to you and I'm going to let you know how you can get that started. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you can stay notified anytime I do upload upcoming new footage and content. I really meant to say content, but I'm going to just go with the flow because that's what I do. All right. So this is a quote that you can meditate on. Gemini, the wise who control body, speech, and mind are indeed consummately controlled. Okay, so let's get some more quotes and affirmations that you can meditate on. May my words today overflow with love. And then look, the person said, your love fills me up with love. I love you. It does. It does. Each and every time that you talk to this person, they just, they adore you. They adore you, Gemini. They are so in love with you. They are like, they are like deeply madly. And it's a fire sign. I mean, not a fire sign. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or you could be dealing with a um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I've seen a lot of water energy or an Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you have... Do not think a small virtue will not return in your future lives. Just as falling drops of water will fill a large container, the little virtues that steadfast accumulate will completely overwhelm them. So this is another quote you can meditate on, Gemini. Oh, let me see. It is very foolish and ignorant to retaliate with spite and hope of ending the attack of the enemy because the retaliation itself only brings more suffering. This is an affirmation that you need to remind yourself. I am worthy of love and I choose to love myself, Gemini. The only thing that matters is what you expect of yourself. What did I tell you when I did this? That was your reading, Gemini. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mwah.